Okay, little squirrel buddy, two squirrel buddy was late. We'd already walked past this tree because we didn't see him. He showed up, he dashed out to the curb where one of the peanuts for the crows was and grabbed it. <clears throat> Jay has a triple though, which is what we tend to give him. Is he special? There we go. Him take it up the tree. There we go. He's got his triple. He's a fast little leader. He's up there. And we walked back even though uh, we'd already passed the tree. Because, well, tree scroll buddy. Okay, there's the, uh, probably the male white tail kite on the kite dining tree. His back is to us and we have no sun. It's all cloudy because we're possibly going to get rain tomorrow morning. So the clouds have moved in. As you can see, it's not really showing very well. Yeah, you're not my way. I'm way up there. <laughs> and he's up there. Okay, we are looking northwest at the kite nest tree. We're east of that location on Kennedy Drive. Not going to have a lot of light helping today because we're getting ready for rain tomorrow. And unless she moves, it's really hard to see her with that white right there. Her head moved. That white in the center of the uh, video is the female sitting on her nest. She does all the incubation duty herself. So the male is there to protect her and provide food for her now and food for her and the babies once they hatch. Little kitelets. And she is up there. Okay, on the uh, hillside to the east of us, that's just north of the Last Word Ranch, we have this right now lone turkey. I don't see any others. They may be nearby, just not showing up right now. Roll along. And he is up there. Okay, got a pretty good sized group of turkeys here. Some of them look white. Partial leukistic? I don't know.
Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we've walked back and Jay's put down a few live mealworms waiting for the blue jay on the other side of the fence to make his way over and go for the live. There we go. Hi. Good bird. Fluffy was at her feeding area. I'm listening to that ground squirrel across the street and figuring I'll get him later. <laughs> she still hunts, even though I wish she wouldn't cross the street. It's her nature. We just have to accept it and let her live the life she's going to live. Gonna go check out what's for breakfast? Okay. This is the clouds we're seeing today. Forecasting the, or verifying the rain the forecasters have indicated we'll be seeing tomorrow. We'll help to maybe regreen the hills a little bit which are turning brown. Okay, we are looking at the turkey vulture that's over with the possum carcass, which really is just bones, mostly bones, maybe a little skin, but not much there. It had already been stripped, but evidently something tasty enough for him. to the top of the chain link fence. Okay, we are across the street from him. Uh, we're just crossed Calaveras, so Evans becomes Piedmont when you cross Calaveras in this area. So he is sitting there on the chain link fence. This is where we came, if the gates open, we can go in. We did uh, a great egret. You can get unobstructed view of the little waterfall. We're going to head on. May or may not go back down and do more uh, with the carcass that's there, but there's really not much left. And he's over there. Okay, and here's a second uh, turkey vulture. It's over in one of the redwood trees that is west of the Lutheran Church. Thanks to no sun, it's not really showing up all that well, but uh, he's up there. Up in the big sycamore in Elvis Odobe Park, have what I'm not certain with the lighting I've got I'm not certain if that's a red tail hawk or a red shoulder hawk 
Red shoulder has more of a checkerboard pattern on its back. The red tail hawk has light patch in form of a V and with the lighting I've got and the angle I'm at, I'm just not sure what I'm seeing. But it's very quiet in the park. We've got very few birds around. Okay, I looked around a little more and I do believe this is a red tail hawk. buddies and he's up on the fence. Yeah, Buddy doesn't mind being around Jay. He feels very comfortable. Okay, we're near Fluffy's area and Buddy followed. He wanted more live boom. Quite the charmer. He knows how to charm it out of Jay's hands. Let's see if he comes. No, he wants to. Oh god, he wants to so bad, but he's not quite sure. Maybe I have to get near well, maybe. Almost. Close enough for Jay. Yes. Way to go, guy. Yes. Okay, that's it. Your mouth is full. <laughs> that's my good little friend. The horses from Whispering Hills Ranch just out trotting around on the pasture area. I know, I know. I go behind them. Oh, okay. How have you been? Hey, I'm good. How are you? We're good. That's good. I don't know how good it is. Got the treats. I got the treats. Yes. Over here. Back at Fluffy's. Jay is over with Buddy. Hey, 
Anyway, treats went down for our sweet little fluffy girl. Yes, she's a good girl. Well, on a return trip, was hoping maybe to see a little bit more of the female white-tailed kite. But just all I'm seeing is just a top of white on her head. So we'll leave her to her day, which is right now just keeping those eggs incubated. So have a good one. We don't see the male. Maybe out hunting. <laughs>